Hi, it's Janice Montalvo, living in Lenaway Realty, and we decided to head on over to M52 to the Frank and Shirley Dick Family YMCA, located right next to the new Hickman um, ProMedica Hospital. And I'm here today joined by Tim Wilson, who is a Senior Program Director. Did I get it? I could promote you if you want me to. I can always do that on video. I don't know if it ever works or not. Um, Tim just finished giving us a little tour. So do you just want to walk us through what some of the options are if they come to the YMCA? Sure. So, you know, typically most folks know we have the fitness center and the gym. So full service fitness center, anything you want to do in a gym, you can get it done here. From the cardio equipment through strength training, full line of free weights. We do offer personal training as a service for those who are interested. Um, Which I thought was really cool. He took us in a room where you can, you don't feel like you're in the middle of, you know, you can actually have one on one conversations, talking about what your needs are, and then your MX? MX4. MX4. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so we do one on one personal training and then a program called MX4, which is small group personal training. Uh, we can take up to four participants per session with that right now. So. And it looks like a whole lot of fun. There's TRX, there's Slam Vault, yeah. there's uh, all kinds of fun things yeah, in there. All the toys. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of like a Tabata and interval type. Yeah, yeah. interval exactly. training. Yeah. 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 But I guess one on one is probably more personalized versus the MX4. Everybody you said is doing the same right. thing. Right, so everybody in the same group does the same workout, but you are at least working with a trainer who can coach technique and form. And that's one of our discussions we had in the office today. And as you look around the like people doing weights, you're like, oh, you're not quite doing that right. I'm sure you're probably correcting. You're like, I'm either going to look the other way or I'm going to save you an injury and tell you what to do the correct way. Well, you know, for sure, working one-on-one -on -one or in the class, sometimes some people don't appreciate you approaching them on the gym floor. So <laughs> you have to be a little tactful with that. But um, They were probably grunting as they were lifting. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Well, actually, you know, if you're lifting heavy, sometimes you're grounded. That's okay here. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a cheap thing. <laughs> and then right now, we're in what you call the group exercise room. Correct, yeah. So we have a full line of group exercise classes, um, everything from yoga to cycling. Uh, we've got cardio drumming, some strength training classes. So pretty big variety. Um, we do actually also have a couple classes that are geared more towards active older adults which um, are, are actually very well attended. And I've, I've referred a lot of folks, new members especially, um, who've come in, older folks coming out of rehab or cardiac rehab or uh, knee surgery or something like that, who really just need that extra help from the instructor to get started. It works out pretty well that way. Yeah, our, our future daughter-in-law is in cardiac rehab down in Tennessee, and that's what she's like. There's once you're done with cardiac rehab, you know, you need to keep going or else yeah, you're gonna end up back in there right. or even worse. Precisely, yeah. So yeah, this is a nice big well-lit room, lots of natural light. You've got mirrors if you wanna watch yourself and if you don't, you just look the opposite way. So this is like a great, and it's a nice size room. You don't feel like you're claustrophobic in here at all. From there, we moved on to the basketball court. Right. Okay. So yeah, right now with the basketball court, we do have a lot of open gym time. Uh, for those who are interested, we have a pretty active pickleball group that plays here quite a bit. Um, mostly in the mornings, the biggest groups come in, but there is other times throughout the day where they will sometimes play as well. Um, you know, open gym, shoot around, basketball time. Uh, we also host and sponsor the YMCA Hitters Volleyball Club. Uh, they use the gym at some times as well during their season. Uh, we're working on putting together a youth basketball league right now in the next few weeks. Uh, adult volleyball will be coming up as well. So we're trying to get back in the swing of things and actually doing organized leagues and sports, um, getting back to more like normal operations here finally this fall. Maybe I can resurrect my old volleyball team. Although the older I get, the further down that floor <laughs> seems to be when you go down. Just saying. Um, the other thing that I thought was really neat as we walked through is there are men's, women's, and family um, locker rooms. Correct. So, um, well, it's obvious men's and women's, but the one we went through was family. So talk a little bit about that. So I know that sometimes for parents is, you know, oh, I'm gonna have to take them to the bathroom and I've got a boy and yeah. Perfect, yeah. So yeah, the family locker room, when you walk in there, the common area has the lockers in it. So that common area is not private, it is co-ed. So, you know, if it's dad with daughters or mom with sons, uh, it's, that area is open. 
and there are four separate individual changing rooms that all have a shower, sink, and uh, toilet facilities. And so, a changing table. And a changing table for, for younger ones, yeah. So basically, you know, it's geared towards families with younger children. Um, sometimes even a family who has multiple children is a little bit easier to contain three or four kids in a small room than in a big locker room. So, um, and really, truly, any one, any of our members who wanted to use those rooms could use them. An adult who just likes more privacy, that's fine. Um, but that's the whole idea behind the family locker room is just to be able to provide people other options rather than a traditional just men's or women's. Right, that's pretty awesome. And from there, we walked into the pool area, which yeah. it was family pool time, is that what you yeah, called it? Correct, family so pool. it was really fun. Like there were all these little things shooting water, and there were people in the deep end or the four and a half foot yeah. deep end. Um, and you do all sorts of things in the pool, not Correct. just family time. Yep. So um, the family time is pretty popular. We do have some water features in there uh, with squirt water, like, like, uh, like we mentioned, with uh, water spinning, spray guns, and things like that. But then uh, also we do uh, group exercise classes in there as well. So like aqua aerobics type classes for exercise. Um, we also teach swim lessons. Uh, of course, safety around water is an important thing. For those of you who may not know, the YMCA actually invented and did the first ever group swim lessons way back when. I was going to say, um, that was long before we yeah, were around. Oh, <laughs> so, swim lessons were invented at the Y. That's so, awesome. So I didn't know that. That's a big part of what we do. Safety around water is very important. Um, our swim lessons start as young as like um, six months old, I believe, um, with the parent in the water with the child to get them comfortable. And then with the pool we have, it is a family pool. So it's what we call a zero depth entry where you just kind of walk in just as if you were like at a, at a beach more or less and just gradually gets deeper down to about four and a half feet. So it really, it doesn't set up well for advanced swim lessons, but the beginner levels and intermediate levels, we certainly do all of that. Um, we do private lessons also for, for kids if, or for adults even if they need it, um, to help them be comfortable and learn how to swim. That's awesome. And then there's also a steam room. That's Correct. Yep. Yep. So. There's a steam room on the deck of the pool, so it is, um, open for anyone, also co-ed, um, for those of you who like to sit in a steam room. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's get back. Let's discuss that one after we're off camera. The other thing that I noticed, and, and you do have a, a wonderful website, so you can get a lot of information. I did a little research before we came, and I really like that there's different options as far as membership. So we talked about um, family membership, couple membership, individual, under 18, grandparents or grandchildren. Correct. And I think the other thing that's really neat is it's also, in, you have you offer some in, income-based or some supplemented Correct. membership. So it, it really doesn't seem expensive, really. I think, what would, would you say, like 62? 62 is the regular rate for a family. Yeah, and that's, you know, for a family of four or six, that's a pretty affordable, but if somebody who's income-based, that would be really helpful as well. Yep. So, and then we talked a little bit about, you do, I mean, you're right adjacent to Total Rehab. Correct. So that's kind of nice for people coming out of Total Rehab to continue on. But then the other thing is, is that you're going to, you have some classes like on diabetes mm -hmm. and you're starting some other classes that'll come up probably the first of 2022 yes. when we're in the full member, or full, full thing. Yes. So anything we missed about the Frank and Shirley Dick Family YMCA that we should know about? Um, let's see, let's see, there's actually, well, the tour, Next to the room we're in is our kid zone. Oh gosh, I forgot about so that. So for parents with younger kids, it's free babysitting while you work out. Did so you say free? Because that was F R E E yeah. zero. So it's just a service that we offer. It is only open uh, some limited hours in the morning, nine to eleven uh, during the week, and then five thirty to five thirty to eight in the evening uh, during the week. But you know, parents can bring in their younger children. We have staff that, that manages the place of all the parents can go take a class, go in the pool, uh, go to the fitness center, whatever they want to do while their kids have, uh, have professional training here. That's awesome. And then there's also, what do you call the gym thing that you said? Oh, I yeah, was, the play structure, It said yes. oh, five to 12 yeah. when you thought I was too old to go in there, but I'm not gonna say anything. So it's a little play structure we have out there too, um, which is open all the time. Parents can let their kids use that. Um, the, the kids own folks do take the kids over there sometimes as well. Um, I guess basically it's a climbing structure um, has like, if you're Play some music all of a sudden. I was like, yeah, where the music come music, from? Music toys and stuff in there for the kids to beat on and make noise with. Um, a little slide, uh, like a swirly slide. So, yeah, it's a fun thing for the kids to do for some entertainment. That's awesome. Yeah, it, it is a beautiful facility. I can't believe, like, you come up on a year, right. like in Almost. a couple of weeks here. 
Um, and we, we are, we're so happy that you welcomed us in, gave us a tour, and so that we can share it with our clients as well. So I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you. And they can, and Tim Wilson is available for personal training or MX4. He's here to help you get into the best physical condition. So this has been Janice Montalvo with Living in Runaway Realty, showing you the YMCA in Adrian, Michigan. Thank <laughs> you.